kickboxing is a massive sport. While it's failed to keep traction in the United States, overseas the sport is huge. There is not a country where kickboxing is bigger than in Japan. The country essentially has a subgenre of kickboxing dubbed J-Kick, which is just Japanese kickboxing or kickboxing with Japanese fighters. One of the biggest stars in all of kickboxing is, of course, Tenshin Nasukawa. The boy wonder took the J-Kick scene by storm at a very young age. Another country that's sort of kickboxing adjacent is Thailand, which is the home of the best Muay Thai fighters on the planet. The country invented the sport, and one of their biggest stars today is Rod Tang, a bull in a china shop fighter who has never fought in a boring fight. On June 16, 2018, these two collided when Tenshin Nasukawa and Rod Tang met at Rise 125 in Tokyo, Japan. The fight was non-stop action that showcased the best striking on the planet at the time. The fight thrust both fighters even further into superstar. We pick up midway through round one. Rod Tang opened the fight going to the leg kick against Tenshin to slow down the quick and nimble Nasukawa. On the reset from Rod Tang, as his stance isn't already back to a steady state, Tenshin leaps in with a huge flying knee. Rod Tang answers back immediately by faking a jab up top and throwing the cross to the body. He then comes back looking for a lead hook, but he pulls it as Tenshin is wise to it and knows what's next and slipped out the way. At the start of the second round, Rod Tang is coming forward and throws a low kick which Tenshin checks. On the reset, Tenshin shifts his angle with his back foot to fire a beautiful uppercut that lands clean. Rod Tang is a bully in the ring, which is how he breaks his opponents. To beat him, it is imperative to keep him off of you so that you can have a little bit of room to breathe. Here, Tenshin is putting that to work with the push kick as Rod Tang comes forward and that knocks him down. Again, Rod Tang is stalking down Tenshin Nasukawa. As Tension reads Rod Tang entry and slips on the rollback, Tension fires a missile of a right hand as Rod Tang is still extended from the punch. Then Tension steps in with an uber knee that lands heavy to the midsection of Rod Tang. We've talked about the step in knee in the past going over Alistair Overing. The perfect knee comes at a perfect 45 degree angle from space. We see Overeem throwing knees against Vegeta here, and it is enough to end the day for any mortal man. If you want to know more about the uber knees of Alistair Overeem, I recommend you checking that video out. Now returning to the action with Tension and Rod Tang, Tension feels he's there for the kill, but Rod Tang is ready to fire back, which of course he does. Tension has had enough of the firefight and decides to disengage. Tension lays against the ropes and sees the big left coming from Rod Tang. He dips under and this is where Rod Tang shows something really cool. Notice how the hook overextends Rod Tang. He sees Tension escaping out underneath and to the side of that hook. He throws a cheeky up elbow at Tension. It's just beautiful. Although it misses, this is a good situational awareness and it keeps Tension off of Rod Tang as he is in the compromised position, much like we saw earlier with the hook as he was overextended. Next, Tenshin Asakawa is against the fence and he is prodding Rod Tang with a lead hand to draw the big looping swing out of him. When Rod Tang goes, Tenshin fires a big left hand across the top right to the jaw of Rod Tang. Then Tenshin comes up top with a left high kick that lands square. If this was landed on anyone else, they would be down for the count, but with Rod Tang being the chin bully that he is, he eats the shot, hands down, and punching himself in the face as well. This is what makes Rod Tang so exciting and seemingly invincible. He walks through his opponent's best punches and eats them for breakfast. Here, tension is gassed, so he throws a rolling thunder to bide himself some time to recover and to chew up 10 or so seconds on the clock. A bit cheese, sure, but it works since Rod Tang can't hit him on the ground. This isn't an MMA, and the clock doesn't stop. Here is a pretty dip from Tension. As Rod Tang is reaching, Tension dips under his arm and pivots away. More situational awareness from Rod Tang is shown here as Rod Tang sh throws out 
the left kick from an odd angle. One of the best, if not the best, counter for the body kick is to catch the kick and the counter up the middle with a straight. This only works for tension because he's there in the stance that he uses, which is southpaw. Most of the time he comes with his right hand forward, sometimes tension will switch stances. But in this situation, with Rod Tang throwing the left kick, he can catch it with his right hand, the hand he uses to jab. This frees up his power hand, the left, to fire it down the pipe. Let's just take a moment here to revel in the violence of tension and Rod Tang at the start of round five. Here, Rod Tang has tension stuck against the ropes. He unloads to the body and then comes up top and lands behind the guard and behind the ear of Tenshin Nasakawa. Luckily, Tenshin has the wherewithal to kick the leg out from the squared stance Rod Tang is in and put him off balance, forcing Rod Tang to clinch up so he doesn't fall down. Next, I want to take a look at the flying knee setup from Tenshin here. He fires across at Rod Tang and backs the tie up ever so slightly, just a little bit. Then he takes a small step backwards and rocks his hips backwards to get the momentum needed to launch the knee. This also gives him a little bit more space as well. To add to the strike, Tension grabs the back of the head of Rod Tang in midair to bring it to the knee as the knee comes towards him. Round 5 would come to a chaotic end. The fight, however, would not be done. We're going to go on to a round six. In round six, Rod Tang opens up with a kick once again. Instead of catching it, Tension just fires the left straight up the pipe, snapping Rod Tang's head back once more. All right, this is a really cool exchange. Rod Tang is hunting down Tension and throws a kick which Tension catches. He parries the left hand from Rod Tang as the kick comes in and then catches the kick and throws it to Rod Tang's left. Rod Tang spins with a back elbow and Tension fires a left hook right to the mug of Rod Tang. Then the two stand in the pocket and bang it out. This is just pure finesse from Tension Asakawa. He throws the left kick at Rod Tang landing and as his foot is coming down, not before but while the left foot is in the air, Tension lands a left cross that snaps back Rod Tang. And while that left is coming, Tension reads Rod Tang's right hook coming before his foot hits the ground. He manages to dip out of danger's way. Just a beautiful sequence. In the end, Tenshin Asakawa would be handed the victory in one of the most hard-fought battles of his young career. He took on Rod Tang, a Muay Thai stadium champion, and emerged victorious. It's a fight that will live on in niche circles for those in the know on kickboxing history. It's one of those fights that will keep fans talking about the time two of the best in their time stepped into the ring, strapped on the gloves, and went to war. Thanks for watching.